Okay, today I'm going to be changing my uh, fuel filter on my 2005 Ford Focus. Uh, before I start working on my fuel filter, what you want to do is you want to relieve fuel pressure in your lines and the easiest way to do that is to go inside your fuse panel box in the engine compartment and pull out the fuse that controls power to the fuel pump. You kill power to the fuel pump and then you go start your car and let it run for a second and basically because the fuel pumps not running it'll stop pumping fuel and it'll relieve pressure it'll run till the car dies and then the line will, lines will be clear okay I'm looking at my uh, owner's manual it looks like fuse uh, number the fuel fuel pump Okay, yep, fuse location, it says it's number 12, it says a uh, 15 amp fuel pump, looking at it, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this one right here, my owner's manual, it says it's fuse number 12, 15 amp fuel pump, and number 12 is the one right here, three down, pop the hood and in the back right here this is where your, your fuses are at to get this out you simply looks like it's just a little clip you pop it up and let's see here should be this one looking for a 15 amp fuse I think it was this one right here like I said it was this fuse that's right here now if you notice in the top of the lid, mine came with a tool right here. That's a, that's actually a little fuse puller. So you can use that. Your, your car might have one too, but I don't ever use that. I just use a pair of uh, needle nose. I go in here and I grab the 15 amp and I just pull out, pull that out like so. Okay, I'm going to shut this back for now. Now, what we want to do is uh, get in the car and start her up. Actually, I'm going to set this fuse right here for now to the duration of this. And this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to start the car up. Let it run for a second until the fuel dies. Just like that. Maybe crank it another time. There we go. Killed the line, so the fuel pressure should be good now. All right. All right. I'm gonna go shut the hood and get working back with the fuel pump set. I mean the fuel re fuel uh, filter. Okay, now I'm going to have to jack the car up because the fuel filter should be right underneath here somewhere. Uh, so I'll jack the car up a little bit real quick. It's a Fram G8018. Uh, a couple things about the fuel filter. This is what it looks like. Just a simple looking little can thing. It has uh, underneath the car, it sits in there like this. And there's like if my fingers were a bracket, it wraps around it and then there's a, a bolt holding this bracket on and then there's a, basically a, a hose that fits over this and then a clip that like a little clip that goes over the hose and that's it 
Same thing on this side. There's a there's a hose fits over the top of this, and then there's a clip. Now, something to notice about these fuel filters when you're installing them, if you look at it, because of this, see that this says flow. That's important because you, you you can only install these one way. If you install it backwards, it's gonna not not gonna work work as good. But you basically all you you know, this thing's like about the size of my, you know, a little smaller than my hand, but yeah. Okay, when you're installing this, you slip the hose over. And there's a little clip that just snaps in like a little horseshoe looking clip. Put the hose on, put the clip over, and that that's all it is. I don't know if you can see this or not, but Okay, you see this, yeah it's hard to tell but that is the fuel filter right there. There's a little, there's a little bracket right, this bracket right here holds it on and there's a little bolt, there's a clip, there's a clip right here. And there's a clip, another clip here, another one inside. It's hard to, sorry, I can't, I can barely fit under here as it is and I'm trying to record this. It's not, not very easy. Oh well, I don't think I'm going to be able to rec record this. Need to put that fuse back in and then you might have to crank the car for a while. Let me show you what show you about that. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. If you're looking at this and you can't tell, you're like, oh man, there's like a whole bunch. Well if you look on the side here, there's little See the little indents here? So that's like one, two, three, four, five. Goes all the way down to ten. And this one says F12, so that was the third one down. So that's one, two, three. Should go right here. And you can just push it back in. Okay. Now let me close this up. That's in. Pop, pop that in. Just push that down and pop in. Okay. Now this we get to go try to start the car. Now, because of that fuel is uh, was drained, it may take a little longer to start than normal. Oh, mine started right up, but just let it run for a while. <laughs> 